3D Turkey with Removable Body Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a turkey nail design for Thanksgiving in the United States. However, if you like turkeys, you could do this no matter what. So in this video, it is a turkey that you can take him off the nail and underneath it's a Thanksgiving dinner. Personally, I find this a little morbid. <laughs> it was my mother's idea and she doesn't think it's morbid at all, it's just me. I find it... I, I love my Halloween designs, those I don't think are creepy or morbid in the slightest but this this I don't know it's just a little bit so I don't know what the deal is there I guess I have different sensibilities than my family does um but I really do enjoy this design and it's kind of strange goodness and I'm going to be using some Melody Susie gel polish to do some of the details so I hope you like that and I will put links to Melody Susie's gel polish in the description box below so check that out and I will see you in my next video so here's the kit that I got. It's called Party Queen, and it's one of their fall Thanksgiving of their, like a kit, sort of. And so there's six colors, and you, I'll be using all of them, and you'll get a better look at them. I find that their consistency is a little bit thicker than the last time I used it. And so that's a little interesting. It seemed like it was on the thinner side before, but it seems like it's got a little bit more body to it, which I actually kind of like. I like my gel polish to have a very subtle thickness to it just because I think it provides some strength when it's on my natural nails. Otherwise, this seems like it's got de decent coverage and I haven't tried removing it, which is one of my complaints in the past. Um, if I do experiment with that, I'll put the outcome in the description box below when I figure out how that works again. So now with clear acrylic, I'm going to be doing an overlay on the nail. This is just for strength. There is no other reason for the clear besides the fact that you don't want your nail to just be a plastic tip. And so I'm not going to do any of the color in the background with acrylic. That's all going to be with the gel polish later on. So now I'm going to be filing it with a 180 grit file to remove any lumps, bumps, and imperfections. And then I'm going to switch to a buffer and I'm going to be buffing it just to remove the scratches that the first file may have left behind, which will be a lot easier than to paint with if you have a smoother surface or just paint on later. So now with a warm gold acrylic, I'm going to be making my roasted turkey or my cooked turkey. And so I'm going to start with just an oval of that color and I'm sorry I'm a little off camera there. In case any of you are curious, it is a lot more difficult than it looks to say on camera. There's a lot of factors that play into that and so it, I apologize and I do try my best to avoid it but it happens. And so I'm going to just take a little more wet acrylic of that gold color and then I'm going to put a magnet at the top and the base of my oval and be careful that you hold them in a place for a second as you're doing that so that they don't snap back together before the acrylic set. Add a little more acrylic over the top and create a little indent down the center with the tip of your brush. And now using more of that gold acrylic yet, I'm just going to be adding the legs and the wings of my turkey. So I'm going to start with his legs at the base. And throughout this whole thing when I'm sculpting this 3D turkey, I don't want him to be overly thick and I don't want him to be overly three-dimensional. So I don't want any or a lot of parts that sort of stick out in the air because that's going to make the turkey that goes on top of it a lot more difficult and not as smooth. So then I also added his wings as you could see and so now I'm going to take some of the color that is called Viridian Ring from Melody Susie and it's just a really pretty shimmery dark green color and I'm just going to be adding little leaves going all around my turkey. So this is like the little uh, decorations, not decorations, that's not the word I'm looking for. It'll come to me later. Um, that you would maybe put around the turkey on the plate is what the background is basically and so all these colors from in this particular set are very shimmery and they're very um very rich looking to me so now i'm going to be using the one called wine purple which honestly i did not think it was purple in the slightest until i read the name and i'm looking like okay so it's a little purple it reminds me of grape M or not m ms uh skittles <laughs> i don't know if you grapes skittles they are supposed to be purple but if you ask me they're brown i don't know i've always considered them brown and so that's how this polish reminds me of it's like a brown with just a, a hint of purple so i'm going to shade my turkey with that and then i'm going to add a little bit of more of that color in the background just to fill in some of the blank spaces so now using spice mustard which is sort of a yellow gold and then champagne rose which is sort of a 
champagne color to sort of a shimmery nude. I'm just going to highlight my turkey and the leaves and just fill in more of that space. So basically the turkey is getting completely covered up in gel polish. And then I'm going to take, since there's still some blank spaces in the background, I'm going to take some of what's called airy blue and fill that in. And then using flaming red, I'm going to add little dots for berries in sets of three all around the background. And then a little bit on top of the turk garnish. There's the word I was thinking of before garnish. Sorry. I was really excited. I hope I didn't blow your eardrums right there. Um, just as a garnish around my turkey and on my turkey. So now on a nail form backing with orange acrylic, I'm going to set down two beads, let them set for just a pinch so that they're not totally wet and gonna fall all over the place. And then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just going to form them into three toes. So you want that to kind of be a triangle that's split into three. So it comes to a point at the back and then the bottom line would come into those three points. And as you can see, I kept messing with them until I pretty much couldn't anymore because they were set. So as you're doing this, just keep poking around at them until you're either satisfied or you can't do anymore. And so then I'm going to take another bead at the back and I'm going to pull that out into the leg shape. And so I'm just going to take and lay that down like so, and then blend it into the foot and then blend it back and press it in from side to side. So it's got relatively straight lines on the edges. Touch up the toes one last time. So then I'm going to take and I'm going to wrap my turkey, the original one, in some plastic wrap and add two magnets on top of the magnets that you already had on the turkey. So there's four magnets on the nail total, one under the plastic wrap and one on top of it. So then holding that plastic wrap as tight and as smooth as I can, which believe me, it's not as easy. It's really not easy at all to keep that plastic wrap smooth because it likes to wrinkle. It's like the favorite thing for plastic wrap to do is wrinkle and cause a mess. But I'm going to be sculpting on top of it regardless. So I'm going to take with a brown oval and... I'm just going to add that on the bottom of my turkey, basically. That's going to be his body. And then while that acrylic is still wet, I'm going to poke the ends of the legs from the, the orange legs that we made before into the bottom and then add just a little more brown acrylic on top of it just to smooth out that area and make sure that the legs are really nice and attached. They're not going to pop off later. And then above that, I'm going to be adding his tail plumage. So I'm just going to add, it's going to be a wide at the top and then sort of taper down into a point or not a real sharp point, but taper in towards the body like that. And then drag the tip of my brush through the acrylic just to create separations between the individual feathers. So now I'm just going to add a little more brown acrylic to that body. I want the body to be the thickest part of this uh, top turkey, or at least of the background of the brown, because, um, well, that's the area that would be closest to you if you were looking at them, because those tail feathers, those are way in the back. So now I'm switching to a color that I like to think of as rhubarb and I'm going to be adding his waddle and his head. So on a turkey, the part that like their neck that comes down, that's going to be the waddle. So then I'm going to be adding his orange beak. So I'm just going to take another bead of orange like I did before, lay that down, pull it out into points at the top with a slightly rounded, um, the middle should come to a slight rounded point at the top and then a sharper point at the bottom like that. And then I'm going to add the snood on top of his beak like that. And then if you can, once that's set, just sort of peel off the plastic wrap from the back of the nail and then from the top turkey. And then with brown acrylic, I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna touch up all of his back feathers or his butt feathers or his tail feathers. Really, you can call them anything you want if you ask me. I'm just, yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna touch them up. So I'm gonna lay a bead down and then I'm gonna let that set for just a second and then push it back so it creates a nice rounded shape on that plastic wrap, creating nice smooth shapes like rounded tail feathers. Isn't that probably gonna happen? Maybe you have superpowers that I don't possess and it worked out. If they don't, don't sweat it. You can fix it up easy enough here. So once you have those nice and rounded, there might still be a little pieces that from the plastic wrap slid all over the place and there's like little icicles. And so you can just trim those off with your manicure scissors because they should be relatively thin and cut easy. And then I'm going to go in the back and I'm just going to smooth it out just a little bit. Don't cover up your magnets because you want those to not have their strength. You want to remain, keep that intact. So if you cover them up, they're going to get weaker and you don't need that. You want your turkey to stay in place. So just like that. And so now I'm going to go back with those colors of gel polish and with the champagne rose and the spicy mustard, I'm going to highlight his wings or not his wings, his beak and his feet. And then I did also the champagne rose on his anything that's that rhubarb color and some of that also on like his for his wings and then the tips of his tail feathers. And then using, and using the spicy mustard, and the flaming red, I added a couple little stripes of color on the tail feathers as well. And I did not cure between these coats, but prior when I was doing the other things with the gel 
polish on the background. I did care after each color. So now I'm going to be painting his eyes with white acrylic paint this time. So I'm not using gel anymore, just paint. I'm going to be adding some details with black, like nostrils and some outlines. And when I'm doing the outlines, especially since a lot of what is with the top turkey, it's really dark. Um, you know, browns and reds and oranges are all relatively dark colors. So these black outlines are super important to make sure that you can see everything clearly. I'm also going to separate his feathers, his tail feathers with that, and his toes. And the Melody Susie gel polish is a one-step gel, so there's no need to put a top coat on it. And there's, I am now because of the um, acrylic paint, but there's also no need to wipe it off because it is uh, tack free. And that is it. You can reattach your turkey to the base of the nail or take it off whenever you want. And like I said, this is one of, I don't know, I think it's a little morbid. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just strange. I know I'm strange, but maybe there's a new reason I'm strange. But I hope you like it, and don't forget to share recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I'd love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!